What's up guys? Today I uh, show you how to change some guitar strings. Last night I was playing and like the ACDC song says, I better like a G string. Well my G string broke so now's a good time to make a video show you how to uh, change the guitar strings, restring the guitar, clean up your fretboard, your frets. Uh, you're gonna need a package of strings need some wire snippers this comes in handy guitar winder microfiber cloth to clean the uh, guitar body and stuff up some graphite to lube the nut and your uh, bridge saddle here and then some lemon oil to condition your fretboard and then some uh, guitar cleaner to clean your body up so the first thing you want to do is release the tension off your springs with your spring winder just do that to each one I'm not gonna go through everything but you just want them loose once you got them all loose you're just gonna take your nippers cut them all across alright so after you got the strings cut off you're gonna notice your tailpiece is gonna come loose you wanna make sure you don't scratch your body up alright so after you remove your uh, tail stock you're gonna see your strings they just pull out the bottom so you just remove all of them and you could see you know the crud and stuff there so you're gonna to want to clean that now this here it comes off or here it comes off you don't want to you know be messing with this because it's gonna screw with your intonation but that comes off you can get under there and clean just make sure you remember you see them little screws here they're facing that way whatever your way yours are facing it's the way you want to put them back on as for up here where uh, the strings are just take it unwind it comes right off and do that for all six strings I did want to mention to you guys these things do move so uh, this sets your string height for your action so once you got the body all cleaned up clean your headstock off make sure you uh, get in here clean your posts up make sure these nuts are tight too on your tuners. After that, you're gonna want to take uh, just a, a green like pad here and lightly go over and polish up. You can see how the shine looks from it. But you're gonna want to clean all of that up, shine them up this way, and then you can go up and down and get a shine on them that way. It's NAFTA that uh, I wanted to tell you guys about. Put it on a Scott towel and then just rub your uh, fretboard down with it. Get cleaning all of that scuzz off from playing. It doesn't matter which way you rub it. And just with the NAFTA, put it on a Scott towel or a paper towel or a rag and just wipe be careful not to get it on your guitar body on the finish okay so you're gonna want to take a toothbrush and this is your bridge here you're just gonna want to you know clean all the gunk out of here and then also up here on the nut you want to just kind of get in here and gently you know rub through and then you might even want to take uh, your microfiber cloth and your fingernail put it in here and you know get each slot and clean that up so we got the fretboard all wiped down with the nafta and uh, that's it's ready for the lemon oil and all you do is take the lemon oil and you put a little bit and this, this stuff goes a long way so you just put a drop like that and you take it 
and work it into the wood. That's going to condition your wood and keep it in good shape. You want to take your tuners and you could see the holes. I have them lined up that they're, uh, the holes are facing the tuner pegs. And that's important to do all six of them that way. We have the nut cleaned up. We uh, replaced the bridge back on there. And then we got our strings lined up here. 10, that would be your first or your high E. 13, 17, 26, 36, 46. This will be, 46 will be your low E. So what you want to do is take your low E and then you're going to string it through your saddle, your tailpiece, and I'll show you that here in a minute. And we're going to use the high E also. We're going to do one at a time. Alright, so once you got your string out, you take your tailpiece, you feed the string in, and make sure you're putting it in the right side, like this is a left-handed guitar. <clears throat> and you can see the little ball there and that's your stop so it's gonna be on if you're looking at it this way the right side if you're left-handed guitar if it's a right-handed guitar it's gonna be your um, low E string on the left you take it and you put your tailpiece on then you set your string right there in that little groove make sure you do not allow that tailpiece to fall down or you're going to scratch the body of your guitar you feed it up to here your tuning peg the rule of thumb is you set at least it depends on the size of your fingers you go three fingers past and then you'll bend and kink the string and feed it through and I'll show you that in a minute but I found with the low E if I set my ring finger right at the third post right in the middle and go to my index finger right where you see that and make a bend and then feed it through the post I'll get three to four wraps on that post okay so you could see I have a 90 degree bend in now what we're gonna do is you're gonna keep tension on that string so your bridge does not fall and then we're gonna feed it through that hole as such and then you're gonna make an opposite bend upward like that From there, you're going to set the string in the nut and hold up on it like I am here. And you're going to take your string winder and start winding the string onto your uh, tuner post. But you're going to, what you, you want to do is you want to make the winds, the string needs to go under not over each wind so you're gonna be holding it down that it goes and wraps under okay so if you look here this is the part this is the end string I'm starting to wrap it you wanna make sure this part of the string when you're wrapping it goes under So I'm gonna show you and keep tension on that string and you're gonna you know just continue to wrap it and you'll see when that comes around and you could see right there you want to make sure this part of the string goes under that part see how that's starting to get up well you want to make sure that goes under okay so you could see we got like three wraps on that and the string is set in the nut got some tension on it and you gotta make sure it sits in that saddle there now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your high E string 
take the end and you're gonna feed it up the same way through your tailpiece and you can see that ball there it's gonna stop it you wanna set that string right in that groove and you're gonna come up and do the same thing here and you're gonna do the same method okay so you could see here this is the end part this we want up and then this part of the string is gonna go under and you're gonna set it back here on the nut right in the groove and you gotta make sure down at the bridge you're in there and then you're gonna start winding that and this time you're gonna be winding it the opposite way okay so we got the E string on and hopefully you can see them wraps they're all under one another same thing with the low E high E low E the other thing I want to mention is your guitar string so we got the, the high and low E on which is your first and sixth string 13 will be your second string your B string 17 your third string G string 26 that's going to be your D string, your fourth string, 36, A string, fifth string. Now, of course, the numbers, they represent the gauge of string. So if you're using nines, you're not going to see, you know, 10, 13, 17, 26, 36, 48. You're going to see a lighter gauge. You're going to see nine to whatever. Okay, another little tip I wanted to give you is... You, I, like I said in the beginning, start with the low E, your sixth string first, and then do the high E. That'll keep your uh, tailpiece in place. Then whatever side you decide, the low E side or the high E side, do your second and third string, or if you're working from the sixth string, do your sixth, fifth, and fourth string it helps orientate where the strings go in each tuner peg so for example your first string your high E will go to this one your second your B string will go to that one and then your G string which is your third string will go to the top one and then on the other side you have your sixth string which will go to your first and then your fifth string is going to sit in your nut right here and that's going to go to that one and that's after you do whatever three you do go to the other side so you don't get confused and say you do your fourth string your D string and accidentally put it there to keep it straight do three on whatever side then move to your like in my case I'm gonna to move to my fifth string my A string and I'm gonna go here and then I'll finish up with the D here the other thing to note is when you're winding these thinner strings I showed you back here to hold it and wind it on for the thicker strings that works but when you're using these littler strings the thinner ones you kind of want to grip the string right where your uh, tuning peg is and be careful when and do it slowly that your wire gets a nice even stack like all of them and you can see each post has three winds it's all it needs all right so there you go all six strings are on you can see all the wraps are all nice Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the nippers and we're going to nip each string. You find that and all you're going to do is just take it and snip it right there. Okay, so now we're going to apply just a little bit of graphite right in here. Just that little tiny bit. Push it in with your finger and take your string and you're going to have to loosen the tension up on your string in order to get it out of the groove and put it back in. 
and you're gonna do that for each string and then down here same thing you're gonna this one you I'm gonna have to loosen the string up a little bit further and we're gonna apply a little bit of graphite right here all right so there you go got all the graphite there and all you do is blow it off and you can uh, just take a uh, paper towel wipe that off clean it up and uh, the nuts all lubed up and the same thing down there you just blow it off wipe it off you're good to go okay so now we're gonna tune this up and uh, once we get it into tune what you gotta do is you gotta bend up on these strings you gotta pull them don't be afraid to pull them either because you're gonna be stretching them and it's gonna go out of tune so let me get this tuned up I'll show you it's in tune and then I'll show you after you stretch them how it comes out of tune you're gonna have to do this back and forth a couple of times to get the guitar to stay in tune other way you can stretch your strings is take them bend them down like this and then the opposite way as you're doing bends and then recheck your tuner now here's the low E See, just a little flat so it's gonna take a little bit to keep doing it alright guys uh, just a tip on your G B and E string be a little more gentle when you're stretching it I just broke my E string unfortunately so we got it in tune now watch what happens when we stretch it low E just a little flat now I've been stretching these for a little little while here so see our A is flat okay before uh, we finish up here I wanna go over when you make your adjustments on this side which is your high E and low E when you adjust your bridge what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a roller and it's 30 seconds of an inch you're gonna come to the 12th fret and what you're gonna do is set your roller on that 12th fret on the high E side I set mine to uh, 230 seconds of an inch that's going from the fret to the bottom of the string and then on the other side on this 12th fret right here you're aiming for 330 seconds of an inch once you have those measurements that's like factory standard setup that's gonna set your action and then you know you have your right height here then what you want to do is you want to measure from each humbucker from the humbucker to the bottom of the string both sides and then the same with the neck pickup and uh, I mean it's all preference it's there's no set number but I just wanted to add that in there another thing to note is when you place your ruler on the humbucker and you measure from the humbucker to the bottom of the string you want to be pressing down right here on the last fret of your guitar and then take the measurement the other thing that's important when you're taking these measurements is that your guitar is in tune you don't want to be out of tune you want to make sure all strings are in tune before you take any measurements and then you're gonna go back and check it and then you're gonna go back and forth so it's kind of a pain in the ass but it's the way you do it